Pisces, it's your girl D with 8th House Energy, here to bring you your bi-weekly reading for July 15th through July 31st. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. I know I am. We're going to see what's going on with you. Um, if you are just coming to the, uh, the channel for the first time, welcome. Uh, hopefully the uh, video will resonate with you. If it does, please click the like button and let me know um, that is something that I really enjoy uh, reading and knowing because that way I know I'm connecting with everyone. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your, your continued support. I do appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. And you guys, when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are able to see when I post videos. All right. So um, all of the information that you need is going to be below. If you want a reading, let me know. Um, check out the information below on what you would need to do to book a reading with me. And um, what else do I need to tell you? Besides, I appreciate you stopping by. All right, well, I don't think I hold my long. I don't think I have anything more to say in particular, but let's go ahead and get to your five card spread. All right, so I'm going to do two five card spreads for you. And I am going to um, see what's going on. All right, Pisces, let's see what's up. So we're using the Gilded Tarot, all right? And we're going to see what's going on. So the first card represents the past. The second card represents the future. I'm sorry, the present. The third card represents the future. The fourth card is going to represent uh, the reason why things are the way they are. And then the fifth card is going to represent the outcome. Now, Pisces, the overall energy for you is going to be the Ten of Cups in Reverse, all right? So let's see what's going on with this Ten of Cups in Reverse and why this is going on. Because this is um, Pisces energy overall. So when the Ten of Cups is in Reverse, it means that there's some frustration going on. There's some arguing going on in the household. Um, you know, couples are fighting here. So we're going to find out what's going on here. One second. Sorry about that, Pisces. Has some money knocking on the door. All right, so Ten of Cups in reverse. So the first card we have for the spread is the past. The past is the Five of Pentacles, and that is Taurus energy. Now, um, when I tell you the uh, energy for the cards, just um, if you don't have this in your chart, um, then maybe the person you're dealing with does, and if they don't, then this just means that you or the other person is embodying the energy. This is a general read, okay? So the energy can go both ways. So in the past, it looks like somebody was left out in the cold, or maybe somebody went their separate ways, all right, with this five of uh, pentacles. Now, the present situation is the king of pentacles. So this is somebody who possibly is a business owner, business executive, uh, working on getting their money, getting their business, very wise uh, business person in reference to investments, um, somebody who is just focused on uh, making uh, solid and practical decisions, okay? Now, the future, we have the King of Cups in Reverse. Now, this is uh, Scorpio energy here, and when the King of Cups in re is in reverse, this is either someone is being treated or has treated someone in this manner and this usually is someone taking advantage of someone's feelings um, someone being verbally abusive someone possibly being physically abusive uh, this could also relate to someone um, substance abuse okay particularly with the king of cups alcohol all right but let's see what the reason is behind all of this this is uh the high priestess this is um moon energy with the high priestess all right and the moon usually represents well Usually when we say the high priestess, we're talking about Pisces energy, um, but the moon does, uh, the moon is rule, rules cancer, but for the sake of tarot, we will um, call it Pisces here. Now, what this means is that there's some information that could have been revealed, secrets could have been revealed, because uh, when the high priestess is upright, this means that there are secrets, um, things that are not obvious, okay? Um, also with the high priestess, this is... Um, clouded judgment okay um blocked intuition all right so this is why this whole situation is going on and so with the outcome we have the seven of wands in reverse all right so this is a uh, sagittarius energy here and with the sagittarius energy with the wands in reverse usually when the wands are upright this is somebody who is taking a stand somebody who's uh defending or blocking um a person place or thing 
um, that they believe in or that they're trying to protect. And when this is in reverse, this means no, the person is no longer protecting this or no longer blocking or defending, um, you know, people or whatever they're saying or, or just taking defense against the situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to clarify these and find out what is going on with my Pisces Massive. Uh, I'm going to be clarifying with the African Tarot for you guys. So let's see. All right, so what we're going to do is clarify this Five of Pentacles first of all. And find out why that is here. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? This is, a, this is the past, okay? So... And this could also be a financial situation to the Five of Pentacles. I forgot to say that um, this could be, you know, someone having some financial difficulties, not just somebody leaving someone, but it could be uh, poverty, you know, issues with finances, okay, taking a financial loss. So we're going to clarify that Five of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So it looks like in the past there was a beautiful situation financially, okay, okay? Um, it could be uh, that the uh, partners uh, in the home were both doing well financially together, uh, but then a financial situation had occurred. So let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles and find out a little bit more about this past situation. And we have that clarified with the Knight of Cups, okay? So the Knight of Cups energy, this represents Pisces energy. And with the Knight of Cups, this represents somebody coming in um, to maybe offer a, a, a message of love. Um, well, I don't want to say a message of love, but this could be somebody coming in to apologize for some something that occurred. Uh, maybe apologizing. This usually is in reference to someone apologizing about a love situation going awry. This also could represent someone coming in saying that they are interested in uh, starting a love connection. Uh, or taking a love connection from just a, you know, I just want to get to know you to, you know, I want to see if we can, you know, have a relationship type of thing. All right. So this looks like this is what was going on in the past. And then it looks like for some reason, um, someone left someone in the cold. So let's take a look at this current energy here and see what is going on with this King of Pentacles. And with the current energy, we have the devil card clarifying in this. This is Capricorn energy. So it looks like there was some um, devil energy that was going on in the past, uh, which would have probably caused this five of pentacles here in the past. But let's clarify that devil card and see what more information we can find out. And we have the devil card clarified with the seven. I'm sorry, that's the seven card. Well, it's the chariot. The chariot's in reverse. Okay, this is cancer energy. So it looks like there was some type of devil energy that occurred. It could possibly be that the love scenario went awry. Okay, and so as a result of that uh, love situation going awry, it was just very difficult for you guys to move forward um, in a love situation. So um, it looks like there's just one at this present time. There's just probably one person who's holding the rest of the family down. Okay, okay. Um, there could have been some financial issues that were going on as well as the um, because of the love situation. So it might be difficult to get your financial footing to get everything back the way that it was. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's going on in the future with this King of Cups in reverse energy. And we have that clarified with the Lover's card in reverse. This is Gemini energy. And when a love card is in reverse, this is a concern for me because this definitely could mean that someone has to choose between two people. Um, and this also means that there's definitely some problems in the uh, love connection. But we're going to clarify that further. And we clarify the lovers in reverse with the four of pentacles. Okay, because this could mean with this four of pentacles energy, um, this is um, Capricorn energy. And this could mean that someone is um, being miserly, um, penny pinching. Um, not giving uh, money, being purposely hoarding money. This could be someone else hoarding their emotions as well, okay? So I'm going to um, clarify the reason that this is all going on. And this is because of the High Priestess in reverse. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look over the cards and give you a, a, a clearer uh, understanding of this storyline here. So with the uh, High Priestess in reverse, 
we have that clarified with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Now, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is showing, this is a Pisces energy. And this is a, usually occurs when someone is being treated unfairly, okay? Someone is being taken advantage of. Someone who's usually very supportive, very loving, very intuitive, very kind is not being treated that way, okay? So... This is basically telling me that maybe uh, the intuition wasn't being used. And as a result, this is what was going on. You or your partner or your then partner could have been experiencing this. And we're going to clarify that Queen of Cups a little bit further here. We have that clarified with the Fool in reverse. This is uh, the Fool is Uranus energy, Uranus energy. OK, so with the planet of Uranus, this is uh, either... Um, this is Aquarius energy, usually, because uh, Uranus rules Aquarius. Uh, I know in tarot, this card is usually associated with the Aries uh, sign, uh, but we, we can definitely associate it with that. But the Fool card is one of the major arcana that is not ruled by a sign. It is ruled by a planet, and is ruled by the planet of Uranus. And Uranus is the planet that rules Aquarius. All right, but it looks like there's not going to be a new beginning here. All right, so let's clarify the seven of wands in reverse here because it looks like somebody's done fighting for this relationship or done fighting trying to keep things going. And we have that clarified with the queen of pentacles in reverse. Now, when I, this is Capricorn energy. Now, when I see this queen of pentacles in reverse, this reminds me of someone who has definitely been taken advantage of. The queen of pentacles is really a very kind, loving, giving person. She will give everything to her relationship and her family to make sure that everything is okay. And when she's in reverse, she's usually um, being taken advantage of either financially or her feelings are being taken advantage of, okay? And so we're gonna clarify her further and then we're gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you an overall picture of what's going on here. We clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is Aquarius energy here. All right. And with the nine of swords reversed, this means that there was a lot of stress going on, uh, mental stress in reference to the situation. It was keeping you up at night or your significant other keeping you guys up at night, stressed about the situation. But it looks like things are coming to a head with that stress. Um, now you are uh, at a point where you are finding relief from this situation. All right. So give me a moment. Let me just take a look at the cards and we'll paint this picture here. And it looks as though. With the overall energy for the card at the bottom here, well, this is not the overall energy, but the card at the bottom here is the six of um, six of cups, and the six of cups represents Scorpio energy, okay, and this represents um, maybe dealing with someone from the past, or this was someone. Um, a child, someone that you know from childhood, uh, if this is a significant other, of course, it could be someone that you met in high school, you know, junior high, somebody you knew from way back in grade school, college, a former co-worker, a friend that you met through some, you know, but this is somebody that you've known uh, from the past, okay? So what I'm seeing here is that in the past, when you got with this person, um, you know, you guys... Um, you guys had a great situation here. Um, you had the Ten of Pentacles. So everything was working well. You guys were working together. Your family uh, environment was really great. Things were going well. And then perhaps what happened is there was um, you or your partner um, ran into someone from the past and maybe had a rendezvous with this person from the past. Okay. Uh, someone offered uh, the person you know, a connection, and as a result, um, someone was left out in the cold, okay? So what happened was, as far as the finances are concerned in the present situation, you have someone who's holding the finances down, holding the family down. However, that devil energy that was going on, from what I understand, is no longer going on because you have the devil card in reverse, all right? So it looks as though right now, that energy is no longer going on. They're no longer seeing each other. But it's very difficult for you if they've come back to you to let you know, hey, I'm sorry, or you've gone back to let them know this is no longer going on, I'm no longer seeing them. Um, it's very difficult for uh, you or your significant other to move forward with the situation after everything that happened. So perhaps, you know, more time is needed to heal, okay? So as a result of that, what was going on was... 
we have the King of Cups in reverse. So yeah, someone was definitely being taken advantage of when the King of Cups is in reverse. This is someone whose feelings were taken advantage of, someone whose emotions were uh, taken advantage of and not considered at all when they stepped away to deal with whoever it was that they were dealing with because they definitely had to choose between two people because this is what the Lover's card in reverse represents. OK, so definitely was another person here involved. OK, because we have the King of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups. We also have I'm sorry. Yeah. And we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So this was a situation where two people who were already in a relationship reconnected. And they were already involved with someone else. And so everybody is upside down except for the King of Pentacles. So whoever's taking embodying the King of Pentacles energy. Um, could have very well been the one who um, either initiated this whole situation or was the only person who came out somewhat unscathed because everybody else is in reverse. All right. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse, the king of cups in reverse. All right. But we have the devil energy directly under the king of pentacles. So the king of pentacles could have very well been the one who caused this uh, ripple effect. Uh, between the relationships with these other people here. All right. So the reason that this was all going on is because someone was not using their intuition. Okay. Someone was not thinking they were not, they had their vision was clouded. Vision was, was just blurry when this person came into their life, this person from the past. And as a result, you had someone who was basically taken for advantage. Okay. Taken advantage of. All right. So here's the queen of cups in reverse. And when she's in reverse, her support, you know, love, compassion, consideration was just violated, okay? And so as a result, you don't want a new beginning, okay? Because this is you, Pisces. This Queen of Cups energy in reverse, that's you. Because Queen of Cups is Pisces. So it looks as though you weren't using your intuition in this situation, okay? Perhaps um, you were the one who ran into the person from the past and you weren't using your intuition and making a wise decision and so as a result your partner may now feel as if they don't want a new beginning with you okay if this is not you then it's the other person is vice versa okay this is a general read it could go either way all right so the result is is that you or your partner is no longer fighting for this situation anymore because they felt like they've been taken advantage of okay just taken advantage of and just the family was just disregarded. The entire family was disregarded because of this one uh, situation here. And it caused a lot of stress and a lot of aggravation. Okay. And so this is why we have the overall energy of the Ten of Cups in reverse. All right. So Pisces, let me see what else I can uh, pull up for you here. And get you another reading. Another five card spread. All right, so what do we have for Pisces for July 15th through July 31st? What do we have for Pisces for July 15th through July 31st? Pisces, July 15th, July 31st. All right, my dear Pisces, let's see. We're going to do another spread here. This one's going to be a little different, but it's still five cards. So this one's going to be the situation at hand. This is going to represent the challenge in the situation. This is going to represent the guidance in the situation. This card is going to represent the focus. And then this card is going to represent the outcome. And the overall energy for this read is the Page of Cups. All right. So Page of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, the Page of Cups is Cancer specifically. Cancer energy, all right? And so um, this is somebody who is interested in uh, offering a uh, love situation. Well, what this really means to me when it's a page of cups is somebody is saying, hey, how you doing? You know, um, I was wondering if we could exchange phone numbers and maybe we could connect. You know, maybe I could take you out on a date. This is what page of cups energy is about. All right, so let's see what's going on with that. That's positive. So the situation at hand is the chariot card, and this is cancer energy, all right? And with the uh, chariot energy here, this basically represents the fact that someone came out of an ordeal, and they came out, and they finally are at a place where their head and their heart are aligned. 
And it's kind of difficult to move forward still, but they are at a point now where they are able to begin to move forward. It's definitely a challenge. All right. And uh, that was a situation. So the challenge in the situation is the eight of cups. And this is uh, Pisces energy. OK, now, when you have the page of cups, uh, this is someone who had to walk away from a situation that was very, very difficult. This was a situation where a lot of love and effort and energy was put into the situation. And it was not easy to walk away from. So that coincides with this chariot card. OK, now that's the, uh, the situation and the challenge. Now, the guidance in the situation is the... Uh, king of pentacles in reverse so in the last spread we had the king of pentacles was the only card that was upright and underneath him he was clarified with the devil energy in reverse so that gave me the inclination that the king of pentacles was the one who ran into someone from the past and caused this whole situation all right this is taurus energy and with the king of pentacles in reverse for the guidance this is um telling me that the universe is saying to you that this person is the one who was wrong OK, this person was the one who was out of order, out of line in this situation. So that's the universe telling you what's going on. Now, the um, focus of the situation here is the eight of eight of swords. All right. The eight of swords energy is Aquarius energy. Now, with the eight of swords, if you look, this could be someone who is imprisoned in their mind. OK, and that could very well happen when you're in a situation like this where your lover deceives you. You um and in the last spread, we had the uh, high priestess in reverse. And that represented the fact that tuition, intuition wasn't being used. Clouded vision, okay? And this is what this is saying is here, okay? Focus on the fact that your vision was cloudy in the situation, that you weren't able to see what was going on, okay? You had the wool pulled over your eyes. As you can see, she has, you know, the wool pulled over her eyes, all right? But this is something that if you pay attention and if you really just weren't in denial about it, you would really be able to see what was going on. Now, the outcome was the tower card in reverse. And the tower card represents Mars energy. So Mars is ruler of Scorpio, co-ruler of Scorpio and ruler of Aries. OK, and when the tower card is in reverse, this could very well mean that a crisis was averted. Um, this could also mean that this is the aftermath of the crisis. The crisis has now occurred. And so there's positive energy coming after this occurrence. And that is what I feel is more so going on because usually when a tower card happens, when a tower moment happens, something positive comes. And this is definitely a positive thing. So this could mean that your partner, who was the king of pentacles, um, you know, caused all of this and you separated from them. And now you have a new offer of love. So let's clarify these cards and see if that's the case with you, Pisces, okay? So we're going to clarify the chariot. Oh, what's going on with my cards? Damn it. Forgive me. One moment. Cards are all out of order here. Okay, there we go. All right, Pisces. So let's clarify and see what's going on here. We're going to clarify this chariot card. Let's clarify the chariot. One more. All right, so let's clarify this chariot card. Why is this chariot card here? Why is this chariot card here? And we have that clarified with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so it's very difficult for you to move forward going back to the way things were, you know, with the happy home situation. That's why the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And that was in the first uh, spread as well. And we have that clarified with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Again, this was in the first uh so now this is just a continuation of what's going to happen after this all occurred, okay? So yeah, it's very difficult for you to move forward. You're guarding your heart, okay? You're no longer interested in moving forward with the uh, former partner here, the one who caused all, the, all of the aggravation. So now we're going to clarify this Eight of Cups. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. We have that clarified with the Queen of cups in reverse yep this is you so you're still hurt and upset about this you were able to walk away absolutely all right pisces let's clarify this queen of cups in reverse here 
And we have that clarified with the two of swords. Yeah, this was a difficult decision for you to have to walk away. Um, but you knew you had to do it. You knew that you, you had to make a decision. And you did. You walked away. All right. Now let's clarify this king of pentacles in reverse. We got that clarified with the three of cups. Okay, so yeah, remember when we were talking about the, in the last spread, we had the two, the, um, I'm sorry, the lover's card in reverse. The lover's card usually appears when there's problems. When it's in reverse, it's, there's either problems or someone has to choose between lovers. And here we are with the three of cups, indicating that there was definitely um, a third party situation, which we already knew from the first spread. All right, so yeah, this was the king of pentacles. This was the Taurus energy or someone who has Taurus in their chart who did this. And we're clarifying that with the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is Sagittarius energy. Now, we all know the Knight of Wands is an in and out energy, especially when he's in reverse. He is back and forth, back and forth. And that's clarifying that three of cups. So we already know what this is about. Now, let's take a look at this Eight of Swords energy here. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords. We have that clarified with the Seven of Cups. This is uh, Scorpio energy. Yeah, you were in your head about this, okay? You were um, maybe disillusioned. You maybe didn't You didn't want to believe it, you know? But you knew something was going on. You did definitely know something was going on. So let's clarify that Seven of Cups. We have that clarified with the Ace of Cups. All right, so this is a positive thing here. All right, this is brand new love coming in. Brand new love, all right, Pisces? So it looks like even though this unfortunate situation happened, you do have brand new love coming in. You took the wool off of your eyes from that other relationship. You realized what it was. You weighed your options because you had options, and you decided to move forward and go for love. So let's take a look at this tower card in reverse. Why is this tower card here? We have that clarified with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So with the nine of pentacles in reverse, this is... um. Uh, uh, this is Virgo energy. And with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this this represents somebody who it doesn't want to be single, okay? Um, this could represent somebody who has some financial setbacks, somebody who's a bit jealous or envious in nature, all right? So let's just clarify that Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. And we have that clarified. We have that clarified with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. So here you are. In the upright now, you were you had this you embodied this energy in the last spread, and you were in reverse. You were being taken advantage of. Okay, so now it looks as though you have met someone who is going to match your, um, you know, your offering and what you have to offer. So this is telling me when you're going from the Nine of Pentacles in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles that there's definitely a love connection here, and that the person that is really uh, offering you something positive is definitely ready to take things to the next level and wants to see where things will go. So that's a beautiful ending to this story, Pisces. I'm so glad to hear this, and I can't wait to check in with you in August to see how things turned out. So I do want to thank you for tuning in, and if this resonated with you guys, please feel free to uh, like the video, and please let me know in the comments. All right? So Pisces, I love you. That's a beautiful story, a beautiful end to this story, and I'll check you in August. Peace, Pisces.